officially got. So what's going on gas gang? Today we are back with an absolutely crazy video. Just look behind me. We have got a G80 M3 running around 700 brake horsepower on a stage two. Guys, this car is believed to be Europe's fastest rear wheel drive G80. Guys, this is gonna be sick. So stay tuned for this one and let's get it. So yes guys, as the intro said, today we've got a very special car as you see behind us. In fact, you might have seen that car before because yes, it was already on the OG battles and you probably realised I'm now rocking an MVM hat because <laughs> we've got Mabs here from MVM, bro. Uh, how's it going, bro? Bro, it's, it's good. good, it's good. Just a quick breakdown and a reminder for people before when they last saw this car. Yeah. It was um, at a different state of tune, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just like base stage one, which is like 1.4 bar of boost. Okay. I mean, they come out of the factory, it was 1.2, so hardly any boost oh, wow. on top. Um, and it was just kind of, Test the chassis, the launch control. As you probably aware, the launch control is pain in the ass. Yes, yeah. Yes. So that was all it was for. Um, and since then, we've uh, we've got full OBD flashing, so we like change maps within like two or three minutes, which is perfect for research and development. Wicked. And so, this yeah. car actually was at the time. Was it not the first G80 to get the ECU cracked? Were you yeah, not yeah, the first yeah. It was the first one. Yeah. So we were like beta testers for ECU cracking, ECU oh, unlocking. Um, so we were providing the feedback to the guys who were doing it. Um, more than likely, you know, everyone else is going to catch up. Of course. But yeah, anyone in this game, anyone doing any sort of G80 work, hats off to him. Like it is hard work and you know, you've got to be patient. Easy software, calibrations, all of that stuff, but yeah. You also have a YouTube channel and yeah. you've released some figures on this car, which were lower than the ones that I said today. Do, do you just yeah, I mean, that, obviously down? our YouTube is quite behind. It's like four weeks behind our workshop um, in general. Um, but yeah, it was like 640 brake horsepower, 1.7 bar, which is what, I think it's most happiest that on the road, but okay. I mean, we turned it up since then, it made that 660 and then we turned it up even more. <laughs> it's not been on the dyno yet, but I mean, 100 to 200 draggies, like 5.2 to 5.5 consistently. Wicked. And that is still 99 run fuel. I think this car's got like fours in it on the stock wow. turbo. And we're saying rear wheel drive at that kind of time, 5.2 fastest, 100 to 200 in Europe, we think? I think so, yeah, rear wheel drive. It's a pain in the ass. Like, yeah. you can't get any grip from this car. <laughs> I can understand why everyone's got an X-Drive. Yeah, I totally yeah. understand it. Yeah. Um, I've not driven one yet, okay. and I think I will probably end up getting one, Go but ahead. I mean, for development-wise, it's perfect for what yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, with that, do you want to tell us what modifications it's taken? In fact, should we pop the bonnet at the same time? Yeah, Just let's have a quick look. Bit of yeah, a look. Yeah. Um, and I've got to say, the look of this <laughs> car, bro, looks absolutely amazing, man. So there's the heart of the beast, and in fact, still looking very OEM, bro. Yeah, very OEM. So uh, intake development, we've got two stages. Stage one is literally intake ducts panel filters and stock air boxes. Okay. We've got a stage two version, which is going to be full intakes um, with the ducts. You can probably see the ducts there, 3D printed at the moment, but they will be in carbon fiber. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, cool, um, cool. But yeah, the, the, the car's got so much potential. I mean, the high pressure fuel pumps themselves um, are two B58 TUs, so potentially it's got like a thousand horsepower's worth of fueling in there. Wow. And 99 run, which is, you know, it's difficult. Scorpion have done an amazing job. Um, and that's what exhaust you got? Yeah, full exhaust system. So we've got our shielded downpipes, which were 3D scanned and prototyped and now in production. Um, they're shielded as well, so they reduce intake temperatures in the engine bay generally um, and faster gas expulsion. Um, but generally, a turbo vac exhaust, panel filters, that's all we've done. Wow, that's great. A uh, methanol injection? Um, really? Meth injection ain't finished yet. We're literally finalising the, the meth ports. I mean, we've got the pre-charge 
meth injection um, ready for production, but we're looking at port injection as well so we can get the That is crazy. Yeah. So what you're basically telling me right now, we're at this crazy power figure with minimal modifications yep. and it's still got so much more in it. Wow, yeah, yeah, literally. I mean, this is 80% duty cycle. I think this turbocharger will do 2.5 bar. Wow. With the correct fueling. It's <laughs> mad, it's mad. Hey, it's these, these are the next, I, I yeah. would say probably the X drive are the next oh, ones yeah. to be worried about on the car Definitely. Passing. Well, don't get me wrong, the rear wheel drive does an amazing job. Like, I think out of the factory, their MDM system is like uh, predetermined. So it looks at like ambient air temperature, kind of um, potential grip, gear speed, all of that. And then it will tell you how much slip it allow. Whereas the F80s, it will slip and then grip. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this kind of knows okay. already, which okay. is pretty cool. Wow. I think, yeah, M Division have done amazing on it. So rear wheel drive, standard power levels, even like 640s, it was still quite capable. Now it's a bit layerish. <laughs> now it's like out of hand. Let's talk about some of the styling on this, bro, because it does look 1010. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, the wrap is the first and what foremost. What kind of it? Reminds that's me of the one I had on my RS5. Yeah, though. that's a midnight purple. So Nissan Skyline color, midnight okay. purple too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they made a literally a copy of it in a wrap version. Um, vinyl image up in Leeds. They wrap all our cars. They did an amazing job. Looks absolutely sick. What about the spicy wheels, bro? Oh yeah. So NV Forge wheels, lightweight forged aluminium wheels. Obviously, I own the wheel company as well. Um, they're about three kilos lighter per corner, and the original wheels are pretty sick as well. They're like flow formed, flow forward. Okay, yeah, yeah. So they're light anyway. Wow. So kind of trying to beat that lightness um, with our own set of wheels was a, was a mad task. But yeah, they're about three kilos lighter per corner, which you'll feel on the road. Like you've driven, driven a stock yeah. yeah, so <laughs> you feel the difference that the wheels make when uh -huh. it comes kind of mid turn, off the apex, on track, it's just, it's just phenomenal, mad. right? Yeah. That looks crazy. And what kind of tires? I'm seeing uh, PS4 S's yeah, trying Michelin to finish power PS4 down. I mean, we burnt the shit out of them Pirelli's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why BMW partnered up with Pirelli with this Why car? Why anyone partnered up with Get Pirelli, out, bro? Right. <laughs> You're nuts, but yeah, we burnt the shit out of them and uh, we've got the Michelins on. And the uh, splitter kit and... Uh, yeah, a bit of carbon fibre. I mean, it's got some original carbon fibre that's from factory, um, but we, we added the front splitter and side skirts on there. Yeah. Um, and obviously the exhaust tips, Yeah. carbon fibre. I've got to say, look, I mean, Everyone at first, when these cars come out, we're a little bit hesitant, I know, because of the whole nostril vibe. Yeah. But bro, the way you've got this car set up, and even alluding back to some of the comments that people said when you were on the OG battle, when they yeah, saw this yeah. car. Bro, this is probably one of, if not the nicest G80 Thanks, M3s man. I've Thanks. seen. Thanks. Um, so not only are you good at tuning, you're good at style, bro. <laughs> well, we've got to make them look good, <laughs> you? you have to. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Well, listen, bro, anyway, um, I think we're running out of time. So shall we hit the road? <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's do it, let's do it. All right, guys, so we're out in this crazy, we're calling it, we think the U Europe, sorry, let me put some respect on this car's name. Europe's fastest G80 M3. And um, first things first, the Revin, I actually think sounds very nice. Yeah, I think the exhaust did really well on this. Definitely, yeah. I think the stock exhaust, it's way too muffled, mm -hmm. way too muffled. Mm -hmm. But also another thing that I think is quite, quite a hot topic, and you're probably a good person to speak to, is about the future of modifying cars. And I don't know if you people at home are aware of this. And if you're not, check the links in the description because I'm going to leave a link to the petition. But the government are basically going to try and stop us modifying cars, right? Yeah, I think their, their kind of intention is, I mean, we went to a group board the other day and their intention is to stop emissions being cheated as such right. like downpipes high full of cats and stuff like that tuning itself i'm not too sure about the kind of said yeah soft state development is always going to be allowed in whatever sense but generally it's about emissions okay i thought it was like manipulating this that the other not only emissions like tampering car tampering yeah so the, the actual broad title is tampering of, of vehicles okay. for for whatever reason um that's an actual it's an actual old legislation but okay. no one's ever enforced it so okay. what they're trying to do is just modernize it and enforce it and enforce it specifically for like sound emissions and all of that stuff so. okay well guys don't let them steal our scene <laughs> sign the petition sign the petition <laughs> it's in the description don't let them do it we can beat them we can beat them <laughs> Sense. That don't make no sense. Yeah, it's uh, 
and the sound too, bro. It's, I thought like the way you were teeing up saying it, it don't sound as nice or well, that it's, nice. It's not like all sound. them cars now, isn't it? They all sound a bit <laughs> from the factory. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, kind of the, the twin turbo setup is always going to be a bit raspy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not light, but I mean, we've made it sound as best we can with like the old one. sick. But you can see there, like, if I turn DSC off now, we're all spinning in fifth gear. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, you only realise how fast you go when you come off the throttle and you flip yeah, forward, like, the yeah, torque yeah, is literally yeah, pinning bad. you. Bro, this guy is, this, like, you're, you're, you're so casual with it, but, bro, I'm here, like, you know, I'm kind of mind blown, bro. It's so quick for a stage, what we call stage two cars. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? We had this debate the other day, and it was like, you know, an F80 couldn't even come close to this <laughs> with the same modifications. Obviously, if you run ethanol, kind of E85 or you know, race fuel, you can get it into the fives. But generally, for a stage two car, any stage two car, mm -hmm. this is quick, 5.5, and it's consistent. You've seen it today in the draggy, 5.5, yeah, 5.55, yeah. 5.5. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the beauty of this setup, I think. Um, and we can, we will turn it up. I mean, I've got the flex fuel sensor on now, so oh, yeah, yeah. put the E85 in there. We've got the water meth going in next week, so. So we'll what, kind of, what do you reckon it can make? Power wise or time wise? Uh, power wise. Let's talk power wise. I mean, power wise. Extract I think this. stock turbos would do like 750, 760. <laughs> that is still unreal. <laughs> It's just so it's relentless when, when it's on, like you know yeah. what I mean. But it's all about grip at the end of the day. It is, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, definitely. It just it just goes to show how capable and like how how bright the future is, I guess, for this yeah, definitely. platform. Definitely, you know yeah. I mean? the homework is done on it, but every day we're changing things like you know cold start recognition, emission control, kind of even like the throttle body angle on gear shift. All of these little <laughs> things are what I'm changing to trying to make yeah, yeah, a yeah, refined yeah. product. Yeah, bro, it, it seems sick how it is already, bro. Like you know what I mean, but. Again, you're obviously going to be your biggest critic. I am. You know, I'm so. my own competition. People, people watching this, <laughs> like, oh yeah, X Y Z got a 4.9 or yeah. whatever. But I don't really care. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah Literally, yeah. I got a 5.5. I need to beat my 5.5. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all I care about. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's it's, the best way to be. I mean, it's good to be competitive. I'm naturally a competitive person, but I mean, I'll still stay in my lane and yeah. try and better myself from yeah. yesterday. And I think that's what I've done in uh, in life, like in general, like yeah. compared to. I mean, your fans will probably see the, the podcast that we've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they, haven't, the if they haven't done the podcast, yeah. guys, yes, we have done a podcast together. And obviously, Mavs, you, you, you could probably feel the energy, like the, the knowledge coming off him. Like, you know what I mean? He's a very knowledgeable guy. So if you want to know a little bit more about Mavs' journey and like, you know, who he is and what he does and everything else, check, check our podcast. I'll leave links for that in the description too. Free time. Funnily enough, this isn't my first time in the driver's seat of this, which is I know, crazy. It would have been, it would have been cool if it was, though. I know, like you but, but again, you when I drove it, it was over a hundred brake horsepower less, and it was yeah. on a runway. So this is real world. It was real world drive as well. It was, yeah, it was this one. 
Oh, you're, you're on about the stock one. Like you, I have you, driven a stock one. Yeah, yeah, you have. I've stuff. driven a, um, the, the M4, so I yeah. know the difference. But it's going to be nice to feel this in the real world. And um, yeah, I've got to say this, bro. The interior, it feels, bro. This is a nice car. It is. Yeah. Like, bro, it's a nice place to be. It's a very nice place to be. They're very tempting. Right now, for me, this is a very tempting car. I'm not saying I'm going to buy you one. You know, it's funny. I went through the data logs of uh -huh. the OG battles. Okay. And in every time you were launching it, you were launching it in comfort. <laughs> I was trying to sabotage, didn't it? I was trying to sabotage. So the car didn't do very well. But, it's done all right. Uh, oh, we'll in fact, we'll get it back. They're probably wondering why there has been no zero to sixty, guys. We're not going to do a zero to sixty today because the zero to sixty road we do it on is is saturated pretty much. It is is a wet day, unfortunately. So we're not going to do it. But if you do want to see what this can do zero to sixty in comfort at about hundred brake horsepower <laughs> less, go and check out the OG battle we done with this. I'll leave the link up here or here. Something. Third gear, do you reckon? If you can hold on, yeah. You reckon it's gonna get slippery, yeah? <laughs> it's a bit slippy, guys. Oh, we got it, we got this, we got this. We're straightening up. All right, let's go. <laughs> bro, that's mad. Bro, that is mad. It's it's crazy, almost, feel, bro, it almost feels faster from the driver's seat. And I felt it dancing around a little bit. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? But it kind of keeps itself in a straight line. Yeah, I mean, we are going in a straight line, so that, that does help, but bro. This is fast. It's, uh, well, this it's, is something it's, it's else. It's controllable, right? It, well, yeah. Yeah it's, not, yeah, it's not daft. No, no, but it's it's very fast. So, go fourth gear. The sound, bro. All right, let's go. Porsche quick. <laughs> it's no. stage one, maybe stage yeah. no, stage two. Well, hang on, let's look at it. I think an ES motor stage one, 911 Turbo S, 991.2 runs about a five yeah. seven ish. Yeah, yeah. So realistically, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think you know, you know what the whole stage talk. I mean, we use it as a business. Yes. No, stage one is literally no hardware modification, just software. Yeah. Stage two is bolt-on, so turbo back exhaust, panel filter and tuning. Stage 3 is when we change the turbo charger. Yes. But a lot of different companies use different use methods. Different ones. But for us, like, we wouldn't do... Like, for us, if you change the fuel, or you add water meth, it almost becomes a plus. So, like, yes. stage 1 plus, of course, of course. stage 2 plus. So that's how we kind of define it. So, yeah. for some people... Well, that ain't my phone. I don't know why you're looking at me like. <laughs> he tried to look at me! <laughs> you got too many phones, bro! Look at like Hello. 15 phones. Hello, NVM. Just casually doing a feature. This is the margin. How you doing? You're right. <laughs> All right, cool. So we are back. We are back. And it's uh, time for a third gear pull. What are you thinking? Let's Ready? Go. Let's go, let's go. We're spinning. <laughs> you know, I'm holding my breath until you lift up. It's kind of like that, isn't it? But it pins you, even like, yeah, yeah. again, rolling in third. You put your foot down, you're pinned. I was noticing that from yeah. the uh, passenger seat. And then it's like the recoil when you let your foot off the throttle just throws you forward a little bit, man. This is. It's... I really like the sound of this. Yeah. I really like the sound of this. Fourth gear. Spin in. Yeah, this is sick. This is sick. And I love the way. Obviously, the virtual cockpit on this, like the rev limiter comes in from the, the sides. Well, if you press this button. Uh -huh. Oh, it's got the other one. <laughs> you got the other one. The yeah. M, okay. So everything's changing, guys. All right, cool. All right, third gear. Properly, right? And then you put it in the normal view and then you can see it. Why have they done that? So the one thing I've been working on on the way down here uh -huh. is uh, fuel economy. Okay. So I mean, as you're probably aware, the M2 we spent ages on fuel economy. Uh -huh. but, like, the ignition time and the fuel top, um, fuel quantity apart from all uh, motorway speeds. Because a lot of these are set up from factory and you probably know when you tune a car, we're like full throttle, 70% onwards. Uh -huh. That's the area we look at. Okay. Um, but I spend a lot of time on the other side, so like 10%, 12% throttle what's going on there to kind of make it as efficient as possible. Um, so we can roll it out to customers. And, you know, what, what can you get then? What's a 
Fuel economy. Fuel economy. On the way down, at kind of 70 miles an hour, I got 48 miles to go. No! I'm telling you this is Bro, I'm buying one of these now! <laughs> Sign me up! And factory did 39, so I've what? gained 10 miles to <laughs> the gallon with less back pressure, good fueling, and kind of good calibration to kind of get it. That's fuel economy. See, this is why you take your car to maps, yeah? That's why you take your car to maps. Alright guys, so we just pulled back up in this bad boy and I've got to say, honestly, this is opened my eyes to, I, I definitely think this is the next big thing, the generation to yeah. kind of beat or have, I guess, like one or the other, depending on what side you're on, but um, this, this car's amazing, bro. It comes at a premium though, isn't it? What did it cost? I mean, they're like 85 bucks. <laughs> so it's kind of Turbo S money. Yeah, it's Turbo you know, Gen S 1, money. I guess. Yeah, like Gen really. 1. But um, I mean, what you've done to it and, and, and the experience from today, bro, is, is absolutely epic. Thank you for traveling down. Thank you for making it eventually. Thank you. We made it before the light died. <laughs> but um, bro, please tell everyone where they can find you and uh, any socials. I'm sure they know what's going on. I don't know. Well, you figured it out. All right, um, cool. Don't and, worry then. End of the video here. Envy Motorsport <laughs> on uh, Instagram, Facebook, all of that stuff. And uh, we've got a YouTube channel, um, youtube.com forward slash Mr. Envy Motorsport. And obviously, all the usual ways of getting through to his contact form and all of that stuff. Um, G82 software is ready, so we're tuning them right now. And we've got remote tuning coming out as well. So, guys, international, hit us up and uh, we can tune yours. Cool. Well, guys, I'll leave links to everything he just said, all his socials, and anything that is relevant in the description. And yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, smash that subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>